Hi guys, we are hitting lower body today. It's a great way to kick off your week, get that lower body out of the way. Today's workout, we're gonna hit a little bit of everything. We're gonna have some weighted exercises, we're gonna use the loop band, we're gonna do some body weight exercises, and we will have some plyo exercises. Each of those plyo exercises, though, I will give you a non-impact alternative. Uh, for weights today, I get a, a variety of weights so that you have some options available. Remember, legs are heavier weights. So if you don't have a lot of variety, I definitely stick at your heavier weights that you have. And also keep in mind today, we are going to use um, some uneven weight distribution when we do a couple of our exercises. A lot of times when we do that, we'll have a weight just on one side, but today's we're going to have a weight on both sides, but a heavier weight on one of those sides. So you need to have at least five pounds, maybe even 10 pounds in between those. All right, you wanna gather up your things. We're gonna warm up quickly, then we're gonna hit some um, band exercises to warm up those legs before we start with our weights. Okay, for this warm up, we are just going to run through these exercises. We're not really going to take any breaks. None of these are too intense. We're just going to warm up these legs. We're going to start with just some straight old jumping jacks and I'll tell you what comes next. Three, two, one. Exercise one. She's going to say exercise one today, regardless of whether we're breaking or not. So I will keep you on um, task here. <laughs> We're just warming up these legs, getting ourselves ready to work. Three, two, one. Let's go into some skaters. One. If you want to try to touch down, you can touch down. But if you're just getting warmed up, allow yourself to tap that foot in the back. Good job. Three. Almost there. Two, one. Exercise Let's do those tap one. back kicks. Good way to do some dynamic stretching while we're warming up. While I was setting up, I was dancing a little bit, so <laughs> I was like, oh, I've already burned a bunch of calories. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Switch sides. Exercise one. Go to the other side. Good job. We're gonna warm up those hip flexors next. We're gonna do some march and reaches. Awesome. Three, two, one. March and Exercise reach. Exercise one. After this, we'll do those hip openers. I'll show you. Pick up that pace just a little bit right here. Start to get that heart rate up. Great job. Three, two, one. Hip, hip openers, one. forward and back. We'll do it for half the time. We'll switch to the other side. Switch sides. Awesome. Squeeze that glute in the down leg. Three, two, one. Let's do some walkouts. We're gonna do two sets of these. So don't listen to her count. Take your time, get out in a plank, bring one leg up, put it back, bring the other leg up, and walk back. So we're gonna keep doing this past Three, the timer. Two, one. Because you don't get many in. Exercise in. one. Keep going. Do walk out. One leg, stretch it a second. The other leg, good. Back down again. Three, two, one. Exercise. All one. right, we're gonna start warming those. Um, getting that heart rate up just a little bit more. So let's do some high knees. We'll stay on one side. We're at halfway now, so pick up that pace just a little bit. Three, two, one. Exercise right into the one. other side. Same thing. We're doing high knees at halfway. Go pick up that pace just a little bit more. And a little faster. Good job. Three, two, one. Now, exercise one. We're up and down on the sumo boxing. Keep that core tight. Now, pick up that pace a little bit. We'll go right to the other side. Three, two, 
One. Switch sides. Exercise one. We're going to focus a lot on breathing today. I really want you to think about breathing out on the exertion. <laughs> I can't talk about breathing out, moving this hand, <laughs> and moving this hand at the same time. Exercise. All right, let's hinge forward, grab those ankles, come down, open up those knees. Sit up nice and tall, lean side to side a little bit. Awesome. Three, two, one. All righty. Nice one. Grab your um, loop band. We're going to hit this, this uh, warm up set for your booty. Okay, grab one of your weights and put that on the floor and grab your band. All right, put that band, I like it right below my knees, not going up into my kneecaps, but right below. If I put it up here, sometimes it starts to roll. Also not quite as much tension, but you can put it either place. We're gonna get down into a low squat. Take a big step, then small steps after that. But we are going to walk with our back around that weight that you pulled out. That's a little bit more tension. You'll feel the burn a little bit more. So I'm getting down in that squat, not letting those knees come in, pull those knees out. Big step, then little steps. And I'm gonna rotate the circle around this weight. Go for 30 seconds, we'll stand up, shake it out. We'll go the other direction, all right? It's a burner, it's a good way to kick off our workout. Get ready, three, two, one. So, Exercise nice one. big step, keep those knees out. Now we're going side to side. Try to stay low. You're going around that weight, it's behind you. You're making a nice circle. That's Great job. Going. Keep going. Feeling the burn. Burn is good stuff. Almost there. Try to stay low. Three, two, one. Ooh, already feeling that. <laughs> All right. Go back the other way then. So get ready. Three, two. Core is tight. Three. Chest is upright. Exercise We're two. down. Big step. Now a little. Feeling that burn. The quads are burning. Make sure you're pulling those knees back so you feel it in your booty too. That's halfway. Woo! I'm feeling it. <laughs> awesome job. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. Drop that down to your ankles. We're going to hinge forward. Pull that band out as far as you can. We're going to do those Three, root erasers. Two, one. Toe pointing down. One. Band out as far as you can and pulse. Awesome. Get ready to switch. Switch sides. That's halfway. And pulse. Try to keep it out as far as you can. Awesome. Three, Keep that going. Two, one. Right. Switch. All right. Bring that band back up. Right under your knees. We're going to get down in a squat. Three, We're going to pulse out. So one. get down with me. Exercise two. We're down in the squat. I'm going to take this right leg, pulse out. Bring it right back to middle. Do it right along with me. Pulse out. Don't let it come in here. This leg stays stationary. Don't That's let that good. leg move. See how that leg is stationary? It's not going like this. Pulse out and in. Woo! I got a little shake going. <laughs> Three, two, one. Shake it out. Switch. We'll hit the other side. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Three, Almost two, there. One. And Exercise down. One. Nice and low. This leg stationary. Left leg up. Pulse out. Bring it back to middle. Don't bring it back here. Not this. Awesome. That's halfway. Feel that pull on the outside of that hip. You should feel that engage. This leg is really working hard. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, Switch. we're up. Drop that band down to your ankles. We're gonna do those penguin walks. My legs are straight, my toes are pulled up. Three, two, this out of the way. one. 
Exercise Straight, two. toes pulled up, the feet are flexed. Try not to pause too long at the bottom. You should feel that right in the booty. Awesome job. You are crushing it. Your legs should be starting to feel pretty warmed up. <laughs> Woo. Almost there. Three, two, one. Switch. All right, we're gonna go forward. We're gonna hit those hip flexors. I've got that leg straight, toe flexed. I'm gonna Three, take it straight two, out. One. Exercise two. Like the opposite of the rear raiser. Try to get as much tension in that band as you can. Keep this leg, this glute tight. Almost there. That's Switch. Way. Awesome. I've only got one more and the next one's not bad at all. And then you're done with the band. <laughs> Almost there. Three, two, one. Pull that band back up to the knees. And actually what you're gonna do is a diagonal walk. You're gonna get down, walk to the diagonal and kind of Three, push out two, with those knees. One. Just a nice little exercise one. Just a stretch almost. Stretching out. Walk back. Back and forth. I'm gonna go sideways a little bit. Not super low That's squat. Tight. Just warming up the rest of those muscles. Awesome. Three, two, one. Great. Switch. All right, take that band off. We're gonna start with our weighted set. Whew. I thought I'd just tape that band set in slow motion. I was gonna have to retape it and I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> All right, the weighted sets today are going to be very similar to those sets that you did last week for your timing. Instead of three sets, we're only gonna do two sets and each set will be followed by body weight. Don't worry about that too much. I'll keep you on task here. All right, our, our weighted exercises today, this first one is going to be a heavy weight. I'm gonna hold a lightweight just to show you. I like to hold it like this, Feel free to use a kettlebell, whatever you'd like. We're gonna do that goblet to deadlift. My shoulders are back, that's the main thing. I'm gonna go down into that goblet squat, come up, drop that weight down, let it ride right down my shins. My back is flat, not rounding, back is flat. I come right back up right here, back to that goblet, back to that deadlift. I love those two together, they're kind of magical for me. All right, we're gonna get this one in really fast. If you are going to do the impact version, we're gonna do those quarter turn jump squats. What I'd like you to think about is a low squat, up, low, land, low. We're just gonna do quarter turn jump squats. You're gonna go one direction forward, the other direction forward, all right? Then we're going to do side lunges. You have two options here. You're gonna hold that weight right in front of you. You can step out, do a side lunge that you step out. Remember on all of these, you wanna think about that booty, coming down towards that knee. I don't want this booty in the air and me hinged over. Booty's here, knee is here. Look, is your booty in alignment with that knee? Stepping up. If you feel like that's a lot on your impact on your knee, a lot of people do, feel free to keep those legs stationary and you're just gonna bend your one leg. Do one side, then we'll do the other. That's gonna be paired with skaters. We're gonna work those outer thighs again. Skaters, what I'd like you to think about on this one is Touching that toe, you gotta get down to the toe, that's gonna get, that's what's gonna get those legs. All right, so get down, touch that toe. Whether you do the low impact, you're just going side to side and touching, or with a little bit of impact, you're keeping that back leg up and hopping. All right, so pick up a decent size weight. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Exercise one. So we're goblet to deadlift. If you've got a kettlebell, keep going. You can always do the kettlebell like this. Deadlift. Goblet to deadlift. We like to try to get our, um, I just realized she's not gonna tell us halfway. <laughs> we like to try to get our goblet squats pretty low because Megan and I like to think about, we don't wanna lose that range of motion. Challenge yourself on your range of motion. Three, Almost there. Two, one, rest. All right. 
We have those quarter turn jump squats. Remember, lay them soft. Oh, if you're not doing those, no impact or air squats. Relatively speedy air squats, okay? Get your breathing Three, in order. Two, one. And exercise two. Low. Low. Try to get low and high. Although, to be honest, it's not speed, it's intention here. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! All right. We're right to those side lunges. Keep that weight close to your body. I'll tell you when to switch legs. Remember, you're either keeping that leg planted or not. Three, two, one. Chest upright. Exercise one. Out to the side together or out to the side straight. I've got some old shoes on. The treads are not the best. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have your music going. <laughs> I definitely am. Get ready to switch sides. Going to be loud today. <laughs> Lower body. Try to get that those hips down by your knee. Great job. We go right into Three, those skaters. Two, one, rest. Well, not right into it. Skaters, non-impact. Remember, you put that foot behind and just tap down. Trying to tap the toe, though. That's the important part. Get ready. Three. Two, one. All right. Exercise two. Tap that toe. That's what's going to make you bend that leg. Lateral motion, always good for our knees, stability, Three, two, balance. One. Rest. Break. All right. You know where we are. Back to the goblet. Deadlift. Now we only have. Two sets of these, I'll do it with the dumbbell this time. You're doing the dumbbell, keep those shoulders back. Sometimes I think there's a tendency to round forward. Three, two, core tight, one. Exercise and one. start. Make sure when you do the deadlift, that back is flat. Now, right here I want you to think about, it. breathe out on the way up and when you're standing up, so it's breathe with me. Great job. Three, two, awesome. One. Rest. Break. All right, we have those quarter jump squats. I already thought we're only doing this two times. <laughs> I know you're getting high in the air if you're doing the quarter jump squats because you automatically get a little higher because you know you have to turn. If not, you're doing those air squats. Three, two, Try to keep that pace up. One. And start so two. low, high. Awesome. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Ooh, I feel that. <laughs> All right. Same thing. One more stepping out. As you're pushing up, breathe through your mouth. All right. Get ready. Breathe Three, in through your nose, out two, through your mouth. One. Exercise one. Try to breathe out. Great job. It's hard for me when I'm talking <laughs> to talk about breathing, but I really want you to think about it. Switch sides. Breathe in, now out. Three, two, one, rest. 
All right, we got those skaters. Then we're gonna go right to the mat and do a little Pilates. Get your breathing in order here. Side to side, touch that toe. Core is tight. Three. Legs are tight, two, booty's tight. One. Exercise and start. Two. Try to get a little lateral motion. Touching that toe every time. Three, two, one. You should feel that on the outside of the hips when you do that. All right, grab that mat. We are going to do a quick set of um, Pilates. Bend that underneath the leg. We're gonna have the top leg straight. Remember, I want these hips stacked. Whether I put my hand here and make sure I'm still touching that top hip, or if you wanna put your hand here, make sure that elbow is facing up. That's, what, that's the key. This, sometimes I even like to put it here, but that elbow is pushed into that hip and I make sure it stays there. If it leaves the hip, it means my booty's going back. We're gonna start with a one, two, and down. If you can, you're gonna flex that foot, turn the toe slightly down. Woo, okay, get ready. Three, two, one. So one, Exercise two, one. down. One, two, down. Flex that foot, keep that elbow and that hip touching. Make sure that you're flexing that foot. Left halfway. Great job. Control on the way down. Turn that toe down a little. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna bring that leg up. We're gonna tap it. We're gonna kick it out to the side, very much flexing that foot. Keep that elbow Three, and that two, um, hip one. engaged. Ready? Exercise tap two. to the front, kick out to the back. Tap, kick out. Tap, kick out. Great job. Awesome. That's halfway. Hopefully you're feeling it right in that good spot. <laughs> awesome job. Three, two, one. Woo. Three. All right, switch sides. We're over on the other side. Bend that bottom leg. Get those hips stacked. So I'm going to keep that elbow and that hip touching. We're going to flex that foot, straight leg, straight as you can get it. Turn that toe down slightly, and it's one, two. Ready? Three, two, one. Exercise one. one. Two, down. One, two, down. Try to make sure you're getting that leg up as high as you can. Keeping those hips stacked. Left that foot. So much to remember. That's halfway. <laughs> One, two, there you go. Really try to get that leg up. If you get it up too Three, high, you may two, find yourself one, opening that hip. Switch. Don't go that far. All right, get ready. We're gonna bring that knee to the front, kick to the back corner, flex that foot. Three, two, one, exercise Forward, two. kick to the back corner. Forward, kick to the back corner. Great job. Awesome. Same thing on these. In, breathe out. In, breathe out. Really be intentional with that kick. Pause it for a second. Great job. Three, two, one, switch. Awesome. Okay, we're done with that set. We're gonna get back up and we're gonna hit our second set of strength. Okay, here is where those uneven weights come in. This entire set, our weighted sets are going to be uneven. So our first set is going to be an, an even squat. You have two options. If you have a kettlebell, when you hold those kettlebells, it's gonna be front rack kettlebell, make sure that your wrist is straight. Try not to leave them like this. You're gonna hold that weight just like this, racked on the front, one on the other side. If you're doing um, dumbbells, we're gonna do it like it's, we're gonna pretend like it's a front squat so i'm going to grab two different weights right here i've got a 20 and a 15. 
I'm gonna swing them up, put them right here with those elbows up. My feet are about a little bit, maybe around shoulder width apart, just like a, uh, whatever is a comfortable squatting position for you. I've got that heavier weight in that right side. I'm driving up through those heels. You'll be surprised at the difference. I was just listening to Dan John. We're a little bit of a meathead family. If you're a Dan John fan, <laughs> talking about the benefits of doing uneven squatting with different size weights and not just an uneven squat with a weight and no weight. It challenges your body a little bit differently. So you may find that it feels a little different. Um, so you're gonna have those two different weights. Do those squats, and then we're gonna pair that with that curtsy lunge hop. That just means I step back behind, come up and hop, step back behind, come up and hop. If you're doing a no impact, you're just curtsy lunge together, curtsy lunge together. Try to keep that knee kind of going upright. I know when you go fast, it's a little bit harder. Now, we're doing squats and deadlift on this uneven um, weighted one because I want it to be a basic movement you definitely are familiar with. So for this one, you know deadlifts, you can probably go a little heavier. Like I've got two heavier weights here. I've got a 25 and a 20. My knees are soft, I hinge at the hips, run those weights right down my shins. I'm looking at the ground with a nice neutral neck. Go down as far as is comfortable, you can keep that back flat. Come up on both the deadlift and the squat. The up motion is where I want you to think about breathing out. The deadlift, you're breathing in on the way down. On the way up, breathe out. Really think about that. Make a mind-body connection with that breathing. And then that one's gonna be paired with, we're gonna get these jump squats out of the way. We're doing a three pulse. One, two, three. You won't mind, because we're not gonna get many in. Nice and soft. If you're no impact, you're just doing the same thing. You're just standing going right back down. All right, two different weights. We're gonna get ready here. First round, have the heavier weight in that right side, okay? Get ready, three, two, one. Exercise one. Down. Remember, you're breathing out on the way up. Keep those elbows up. If I'm like this, I'm bending forward. That's why we got those weights flipped. Elbows up. Keep those elbows going out. It'll keep you upright. Really think about tight core. I know it's challenging you in a different way. It's heavier weights. When we do this, it's one-sided. Usually I have weight on one side. It's a lot lighter to have 120 Two, pound one, than to have yes. a 20 and a 15 or a 20 and a 25. Okay, whoops. We're doing this curtsy lunge hops. Let's go right to the deadlift. Get your breathing in order here. You're gonna step back, that Three, foot back two, behind, one, and a nice That's little hop. So back behind, hop. This is not too bad. Now I'm not going super speedy on these because I'm talking. Feel free to go much faster than I'm going. Three, two, one. All right, yes. now is the deadlift. Heavier weight in the right hand. I really want you to think about, breathe in on the way down, nice and slow on the way down. Out on the way up, all right? Get those weights. Get yeah, ready. Two, one. So breathe in. Exercise one. Great job. Really think about a tight core. If you're feeling this in your back, make sure that you're not coming up, leading with your chest. What I mean by that is this right here. Keep that core tight, but don't lead with your chest and put that arch in your back. You feel a lot of tension there. Look straight at the ground. Keep that neck neutral. Three, two, one. All nice. right. Got those three pulse jump squats. No more jumping and squatting together. This is it. <laughs> we can do this one together because it's, it's pretty hard to go too fast on this one. So we'll do three, this one together. Two, one, and exercise two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, 
three, get low and high. Three, one, two, two, three, one. Great one. job. All right, we're going back again. We've got that uneven squat. So heavy weight in the left hand. Switch those up. I'll do it with the kettlebells this time. Three, two. So I'm gonna rack one. those weights in the front. Exercise one. Down and up. Great job. Keeping those elbows up. So you keep that chest up. Awesome job. Breathe out all the way up, remember? Awesome, almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we've got those pretty lunge hops. Get your breathing in order here. Last one of these sets we have to do. Almost there. Three, two, one. Exercise Go behind two. and hop. Just try to get some air under that foot or no impact like that. Three, two, one, rest. I think my knee was way over, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, left hand has the heavy weight this time. Deadlifts, remember, you can probably get a little heavier. Breathe out on the way up. Challenge yourself, my body right here. Three, two, one. Slow on the way Exercise down. Exercise one. Great job, back flat. Look straight at the ground. If you find your back starting to round, try only going down just past your knees. Sometimes it's flexibility. Keep that core tight. We don't want to round it back on these. Think about your booty, booty and hamstrings. It's the only place you should feel it. Three, awesome. Two, one, rest. Okay. So like I was saying, normally we do one weight, maybe you do a 25. This time if you had a 25 and a 20, now we're talking about using 45 pounds. It's a lot more weight, so it is more challenging. All right, three falls. We got this. Three. Let's do this together. All right, here we go. Exercise two. One, two, three. 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 Rest. Woo! All right, grab that bat. <laughs> Trying to get down on that mat. Trying to get those legs in that pretzel. Grab a hold of that shin, pull that leg back. Now we're gonna lift that whole leg up. We're gonna lean over that. Once we get here, I'm gonna stay in this position. I'm not gonna move my upper body. I am leaning over, just not moving it. I'm gonna lift this up. Once I lift, this body gets in position, that's it. I'm lifting my knee and my leg, trying to keep it pulled back. So. Get in this position with me. Pull that knee back. Get ready. Three, two, one. Lean over. Exercise up. one. Put that whole leg up. Awesome. Great job. That's halfway. Try to get that leg up as much as you can. I know it's hard to get much motion at all. Make sure it's not coming up here. I want it in the back. Further back it is, probably the less motion you have. Three, two, one. All right, finish. flip to the other side. Get ourselves set here. Take that shin, pull that hip back Three, so that knees two, back by that one. hip or further back, Exercise lean over two. and lift. Awesome. 
Fantastic. Almost there. That's halfway. Great job. Three. Do a thing. Two, one. Switch. Okay, we're going to go to that um, tabletop. I'm going to bring that right leg to my, my knee to my elbow. I'm going to kick out to that back side. I'm going to try to aim at that back side, flexing that foot. Get ready. Three, two, one. One. Exercise so, one. Knee to elbow, kick to the right side. Knee to elbow, kick. Knee to elbow, kick. Do a pause there. Same thing, you're breathing out on the kick. That's Try to keep way. yourself squared up. Great job. Feeling that in that booty. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, Switch. let's switch over to the other side. We're gonna get that other one. We're gonna do an extra one right here. Three, two, down. On that tabletop. Exercise two. Knee to elbow, kick. Control it, kick. Great job. If you're feeling that in your back, feel free to go to those elbows. That's Sometimes that alleviates some of the low back. Great job. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. Switch. Last one we're going to do are those bow taps. I'm going to take my leg out to the side. I'm going to bring it all the way up as Three, high up as I can. Two. Oops. One. Don't listen to her. Tap down behind me. Bring it all the way up again. Once I get to about here, my leg wants to flop. Don't let it flop, okay? So get ready. Out to the side, up and around. Ready? Three, two, one. Exercise one. I have to really think about getting that leg up as high as I can. Now, sometimes if you um, bend your elbows just a little bit, you'll feel a little less tension in your, in your back. You don't have to hyperextend your back quite as much. So if you need to put a little bend in your elbows, go ahead and do that if it means you can get your leg up higher. Pushing your elbows Three, straight two, a lot of times one. adds a lot of tension that low back. All right, sit up. I'm really, really sweating. Where's my towel? Three. <laughs> Last two, one here. One. So we'll Exercise go to the other two. side. Whoops. Out to the side. Up and around. Try to get that up and around as as high as you can. My, I'm not straight at all on this mat. <laughs> That's halfway. Try to control up nice and high. If you're not feeling it in your booty, you got to take it up higher. Three, Almost there. Two, one. All right. Finish. Great job. Get a towel if you need to. Maybe back here for set three. Okay, these two, what we're going to do is you're going to have a weight in front of you. Our weight of what we're going to do is sumo squat. You can have your weight down here or right here. We're going to try to pulse this baby. We're going to have one leg up. We'll have that heel up. What I'd like you to try to do is challenge yourself with how high you get that heel up. Sometimes I think we barely get it off the ground. Try to get that heel up so that you're really making this leg do the work. All right. Then at halfway, we'll switch to the other side. Remember when we do sumo squats, pull those knees back. You're going to be breathing in and out on your own on that one <laughs> since there's not a clear exertion. It's a 40 second exertion. <laughs> All right, then you're gonna like these two. There's no impact on these two. What I'd like you to think about on the first one is staying low. We're doing knee ups, but challenge yourself to stay a little lower. Not coming up here. Try to stay low. We're gonna burn that leg out. All right, then we're gonna go to reverse lunges. And what I'd like you to do today is pull your mat out for me. We're gonna do Reverse lunges, you can either leave that foot in the back or you're actually going to step back, but you're gonna stand right in front of that mat. I'm going to step back and drop down till that knee touches. I'd like you to try to get into the habit of dropping that back knee. So today we're gonna to work on that. It's nice, slow and controlled. I'm gonna drop that back knee, 
come back up. So I can get in the habit of going the whole way down. And it does, this is what tends to happen with the reverse lunge. We want you to get in the habit of bending that back. All right, so we're gonna go down all the way to a touch. Now, if that feels like it's a little too much impact, if you're worried about the mat, feel free to keep your legs like in that split squat and just drop the back knee and up. Drop the back knee and up, all right? Whichever way you would prefer. And that one, I will work with you on the, the cardio version of it or the, the fast version of it, but we're gonna try to be pretty speedy. We're tapping, squatting, tapping, squat. Pretty simple, I think you'll be able to get it. Just follow me for that. All right, grab a heavy weight, sumo. We can go pretty heavy, only one weight. So get ready, I'd say it's your heaviest. Get ready, three, two, one. Exercise nice and straight, get down in that squat. Pull that right leg up, or that, whichever leg. <laughs> one heel up. Now if you need to come up, come up. Now find that happy place. Awesome job. It's a burner, I know it is. Keep those knees back, fight, fight, fight. Switch sides. Forgot she's not gonna tell me to switch. Awesome, keep that core upright. Embrace the burn. Three, two, one, Woo! rest. All right, drop that weight. We've got those low um, knee ups. Just try to keep some bend in that leg is what we're really looking for. Remember which leg you're using. I've got my left leg forward, my right leg's gonna do the moving. Three, Get your breathing two, in order. One. And start. Exercise two. Actually, we'll switch it halfway. No, we're not, no, we're not. We're burning this leg out, I forgot. This thing will be easier to remember than from two minutes from now, which leg you use. Feel a burn. Three, Try to stay low. Two, one. Break. Rest. All right. Shake that leg out a little bit. We're going to pull that mat up. We have those reverse lunges. Grab a decent weight. Get ready. Right leg's going to go back. Tap that knee in the back. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Tap that knee. Drive through that heel. It might feel very different. Now, if you've got a really low mat, maybe you want to pause me quick, double it up, triple it up. Great job, switch sides. Awesome. Almost there. Three, two, one. Yes. All right. We got those tap, squat, tap. So right leg is straight. Left leg, you're going to have um, a little bit bent. We're going to go down the squat, tap the right leg. We'll do it slow Three, in the beginning, then pick up the two, pace. One. Tap, step out, Exercise squat, two. tap, squat, tap. Now start picking up the pace. Great job. A little bit of lateral motion. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're back to that sumo with the heel up. How was that weight last time? Was it a challenge? Was it not a challenge? If it wasn't, pick up two weights. It was a challenge for me. <laughs> All right, get ready. Get that Three, core tight. Two, Shoulders back in their pocket. One. Exercise We're one. down. Pick that heel up. Awesome job. Try to do a better job watching. Push through that heel on the down leg. Switch sides. Awesome job. Woo! Mm. Good stuff. Fight through the burn. You got it, you got it, you got it. Woo! Awesome. You see my leg shaking. <laughs> Three, two, 
One. Oh, nice. holy moly. All right, for me, my right leg's gonna be better this time. Ah. All right. Get your breathing in order. Get ready. Three, two, one. And start. Exercise two. Try to stay low. Challenge yourself right here. Keep that back flat. Now get a little bit lower. Burn that leg, burn that leg. Awesome, Three, almost there. Two, one, rest. Woo, okay. All we got is those reverse lunges and one more quick set of the Pilates. Start with that other leg first. Three, two, one, exercise one. Tap and up. All the way down, all the way up. Remember, breathe out. Try to practice that breathing. Switch sides. Awesome. You got it. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest. Okay, we're gonna get down on the mat. We're gonna do those donkey kicks. A quick set. A lot of you guys are familiar with this one. We're gonna get in that tabletop. If you have any low back issues, feel free to go to that elbow. That should eliminate some of that tension. We're gonna go all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. Try to take that heel up towards the ceiling. Then when she counts us down, we're gonna hold that leg up. We're gonna try to keep that leg past that 90. And then when she counts us down again, we're going to pulse all the way up. Okay, so get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise all the way down, one. all the way up. This is good stuff right here. One of our ladies used to say it gets the goop and she's not lying. All right, push that heel up towards That's the ceiling. Halfway. Your booty should be feeling it. Those sumo squats were quite a, a um, stretch for that. Three, two, one. Keep that yes. leg up. Try to keep that leg up here, not down here. Up as high as you can, at least at that Parallel to the ground. Three, two, two one. one. Now we're pulsing. Exercise now one. I'm gonna try to keep that leg so it does not come down past that 90. Try not to kick that hip over to the other side. Keep your body squared up. That's halfway. Should be feeling that pretty intense <laughs> in that booty. Right up there. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, drop Rest. that down. Lean back, let's stretch that out. Awesome job. We finished this other side and you're done. I promise we get to stretch right after that. So get ready. Woo. Get ready, get yourself set up. Try not to let this hip kick to the other side. I'll come around this way. Three, two, one. Exercise one. All the way down, all the way up. Try to keep yourself from putting that weight on that other leg. Keep straight up, flex that foot. That's halfway. Act like you're trying to get that heel up to kick the ceiling. Awesome. Almost Three. there. Two, one. All right, we're holding. Woo. Embrace the burn. Try to watch that leg. Make sure that it's not down here. We want it up. Can you get up a little bit further? Three, two, one. And exercise pulse. one. This is it. This is your last 30 seconds. Make it good. Try very hard not to stop on this. I know it's burning. Embrace the burn. Burn has changed. That's good stuff. 
fighting through it. You're stronger than you think you are. That's halfway. You got it, you got it. You've only got 10 seconds left. Do not stop. Pulse, 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 pulse. You got it, you got it. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest. All right, let's come back and stretch that out. We're gonna go right into the stretching since we're here. Open those knees up and let's sink down. Let's stretch that low back out. Let's come out, sink down and push back. If you like it like this, you can go stay here. Now we're gonna come back again Open those knees up. Let's sink back down into that child's pose again. Nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's come out into that plank again, flip those toes up, and let's go into that down dog. Pedal those heels. Great job. Bring that right leg up and pull that through. Keep that hand right beside that leg, take that hand underneath, and open up. This arm should be against that knee, and you should feel a, a stretch in that hip. Now we're gonna release that. Sit up, tighten up that glute. You should feel a, a stretch in that hip flexor, and lean forward. Whew. Pull my hair up now. <laughs> When I do that during the workout, sometimes it comes out if I'm jumping around. Release that, step out. Really get a nice sinking stretch down into that hip flexor. Then we're gonna come back, heel down, toe up, lean forward. Now, I'm gonna face you so you can see, pretend like my hips are those headlights. Remember that, step my foot out to the 45. I'm gonna lean in the direction of my legs, but I'm gonna keep those headlights facing forward, meaning I'm not going this way. Headlights forward, leaning to that 45. As much as possible. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try to take this leg back a little bit more. If I can, more like at that, that 90, still facing forward as much as possible. Lean in that direction. Awesome. Now we're gonna bring that belly back to the front. Pull that leg in and sink back. Lean over that leg. Get a nice stretch here. Take those hands to the outside. And hands to the inside. Hopefully you've gotten your breathing in order here. Pull that leg around, crowd that leg and pull it back towards you. Get a nice twist there. Feel that in your glute. You'll probably feel that more in your glute tomorrow though. <laughs> okay. okay, we're going to come to that, that kneeling. Put both hands down. I'm going to grab, take this outside hand, grab right under my rib cage. Remember this arm is right beside that um, leg. The shoulder is right beside that knee. I'm going to open up that chest. Get a nice stretch in that hip. Release that, we'll come up, tighten up that glute in that down leg, and lean forward. Nice stretch there, get a stretch in the front of that hip flexor. We really wanna get that. Now, release that. Step out and sink out as much as you can. That's extending that range of motion. We're stretching at the first one with that glute, that glute engaged. But as we step out, we're also, also lengthening it, creating space in that, so that, remember as we say all the time, when we sit, it shortens. All right, headlights, my hips are headlights. Take that to the 45, keep those headlights facing forward, but lean in the direction of that knee. Great job. Come back. Now I'm gonna take that leg to the side. Headlights facing forward. Lean in the direction of that knee. Now this one's a little bit harder. It really does want to twist to the side. I've got to really think about keeping that leg, that hip open. Ah, release that. Oops, I did forget to do that one. Come back forward, heel down, toe up, straight back, lean forward. Let's get that hamstring. So I'm feel so good. Now 
pull that leg in, sink back, and lean over that. Just relax here a second. Take those hands to the outside and to the inside. Bring that leg around and pull back towards you. Now we're going to take that leg that's on top, pull it out straight. This leg's still bent. I'm going to take this elbow and stick it in the bent leg and I'm going to reach out. Keeping that elbow in this leg stretches this muscle here. If I don't have the elbow in, I lean this way, I don't feel it. So keep that elbow in that knee so it keeps you going straight and lean forward. You should feel it on that inner thigh. All the way down to your knee. Now we're going to bring this leg in. Sit up nice and tall and hinge forward. When you breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Try to hinge forward a little bit more. And now pull this leg in, your right leg's gonna be in, your left leg's out, put that right elbow in your right knee and hinge forward. Now we're gonna sit up, put those feet on the outside of our hips and let's drop those knees to the center. Just stretch out those hips and those knees, working on our range of motion. We'll do that three times on each side. Then we'll do one more leg stretch before we're done here. Let's straighten out that right leg. Left leg goes on top, flex that foot, open up that hip. Stretch that out a little bit. Now pull that foot in. Now I'm gonna pull this toe back towards my shin. Really flex that foot, get my back straight. As soon as I straighten out my back, I feel it in my hip. Move that hip in as much as you can. Get a nice stretch on that. Nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now, switch sides. Left leg out, right leg on top. Open up that hip a little bit. One way you can tell if you need to work on this stretch is when you sit cross-legged. Pull that leg up, flex that foot. When you sit cross-legged, put your leg on top of your other leg, just like in this position with your leg, you know, this leg would be on the floor, you're sitting on a bench. And see if your knee is in the air. Um, so when I'm sitting on the ground and I put my leg cross like this, I'm gonna see if I can keep my knee in alignment with my foot. If my knee's up here, this is one of those stretches that you need to work on probably. All right, we're gonna grab that loop band, or if you wanna grab a strap, we're gonna grab that right foot. Pull that right foot back, left leg stays straight. Let's just get this leg stretched out. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can and take that to the outside. One of the things Meg and I like to talk to you guys about too is putting your hands on your, when we talk about breathing, drop that to the center, is making sure that you're breathing in through your belly. So when you put your hands on your chest and on your belly, do some breathing exercises and make sure that your, your hand on your belly, put that foot there, grab underneath, underneath that leg. Put that elbow up into that knee and pull back. We're gonna stretch out that hip today. Um, make sure that it's your hand with the, with, that's on your belly that's moving. If it's your hand on your chest moving and not your belly, try to work on that breathing when you're laying in bed or um, after a workout. Just do some breathing techniques that will really help you. Foot down, let that knee fall to the side. Um, Meg and I both, I, I, I know I did, but I know Meg has said the same thing. Um, walk that hand up a little bit really stretch out that hand is that both of us tended to breathe through our chest um, in the beginning, take that to the other side. And it's taken us some time to learn how to do belly breathing. Now grab that left leg real quick at the end. I'll, I'll go over that with you. Pull that left leg back towards you. Try to keep that leg straight, take it to the outside and to the inside. If you are sticking with me for the stretching for all these, give yourself a big pat on the back. I know it's not easy. I know you wanna skip out of the stretching. You're like, eh, I'm not. Um, ankle on your knee, pull, or grab underneath your knee, put that elbow up into that knee and pull back. Um, I know you feel like, eh, 
it's an extra 10 minutes, but honest to goodness, over and over and over again, any fitness article you will read, they will say, as you're at, as we're being athletes or we're aging, any anything like that, flexibility and being able to maintain a healthy range of motion, drop that knee to the side, is really what keeps us injury free. Keeps you young, maintaining a range of motion. When we limit our range of motion, that's where we end up getting injuries. Flip that leg to the other side. Whether we play a sport, um, I know when my daughter was playing volleyball, her hitting arm had so much less range of motion than the other arm, and that's what ended up bothering her shoulder and her upper um, traps and neck. Reach those arms straight out. And, all right, pull those knees up, put those feet into the ground, put your hand on your chest and your hand on your belly really quickly here. Th try to take a nice deep breath and see if, your hand is moving on your chest or your hand is moving on your belly. Do a couple of those and try to think about making that belly hand move, okay? That's what we're talking about when we're, when we're saying that. All right, awesome job today. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a great day.